Hi everyone, in this tips and tricks video, I'll show you how to script an EME simulator object. Alongside this video, we've included a example zip file. Inside you should have a grading example uh, mode project file. And then you also have the example script titled uh, scripted EME. So if you open the example file here, you'll see that our example device is a simple grading structure uh, with two waveguides on either side. If we click into EME and select cells here, we've divided up these cells accordingly. So cell one is the waveguide object alongside cell six. Uh, two and three are the first period. Uh, one side's a silicon or one side's a spacing. Um, and then uh, three, uh, four and five here is the uh, repeat of the same period. However, you are able to, uh, let's say, have a uh, appardized grading, for example. So that's what this is here for, in case you do have different cell structures. Um, and then we'll open the EME object here, go to the EME setup tab, and here's where a lot of uh, users get confused. Um, so the question now is, how do you access, for example, the cell group definition here, which is in the table format? It's not as straightforward as most uh, numerical properties, such as xmin or cell group. And the same goes for the periodic group definition. So in our script here, um, we'll showcase how to actually access and change these variables. So starting from line 10, we first select our EME object. And then line 11, we'll want to set the number of cell groups. Uh, so here we set to six. This directly relates to how many uh, rows are in this table. And then now we can select each column and uh, set the appropriate values for them. So first we can call the set function. Um, we specify group spans. And then in the argument side, we provide a square bracket with each of the rows values uh, separated by a semicolon. It should also be noted that for the final value, you'll want to avoid a semicolon. This is just a syntax um, of the script. Um, so if you do get an error, please check that this is uh, correct there. It's a common mistake. And then from here on out, we can do the same thing for cells. So in here, we set all the cells to one. Um, and you can do the same for the subcell method. So in this case, for the subcell method, if you want to use no subcell method, you would set a zero. If you want to use CVCS, you would set it to one. Uh, for the other side, where we have periodic group definitions up here, uh, we first want to set a uh, number of periodic groups to two. Uh, we do have two periodic structures. And then first we'll set the start cell groups. So here we have two and four. So we'll set that in the script. Uh, and then we'll set the end cell groups for each one. So it'll be three and five. Um, and then finally, we'll have the periods for each column, so 500 and 600. And we can see that it's set up correctly as the cell group sequence down here is showing uh, non-error. And that pretty much sums up uh, how to do this kind of scripting. Uh, this is applicable for any numerical object where there are these kind of table formats. And that'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching.